Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robot's clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead. There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping. And Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Asthma inhaler. Yes! The one Park's been using has to be running low.
Whoa, that's a lot of drugs. I don't know what they're all for, but I gotta find something for Vera's fever. And I'm guessing it's in that case. I hate to admit it, but if Matt were here, he'd figure something out. Well, that's a little inconvenient. This shelf's cutting off access to all the pediatric medicines. We have to find a way to move it without drawing any attention. That was too close for comfort. Damn it, just my luck. Hello, Mr. Cash Register. How's retirement treating you? It's some cable. Some kind of power unit. Better take it. Could come in handy. I'm positive that the meds we need are buried under this shelf, but how am I going to move it? This thing weighs a ton. Maybe. If this thing comes crashing down, you'll hear the noise for blocks. Gotta come up with something. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. The cops will hear it. I need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever. Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. So, what have we got here? It's the manager's office. Probably something useful inside. Only problem? It's locked. Okay, keycard. Show me what's behind door number one. Nice room. What kind of fossil is this? These terminals belong in a museum. Brian's insomnia doesn't seem to be getting any better. Maybe these pills will do the trick.
This could show me something useful, if I can fix the rest. It's alive. Nice work, Emily. Comfy. A safe. Now, how to go about getting it open? <sighs> Finding this drugstore was a godsend. Luckily, it has some more of the meds Justin needs. Although, let's be honest, a wheelchair is already pretty much a death sentence in this city. Thankfully, this place is the perfect place to hole up. Might even stay a while. Food could become a problem, since the closest store is three blocks away, but Justin's safety has to come first. I've been going from time to time to scout out the area, praying they don't spot me. Turns out the commotion I heard yesterday was a group of people trying to hide here. Nothing but former survivors now. You know what? Everything worked out. They made a bunch of racket in the sales area, but I just shut the door and they never even knew we were here. There's a lot of things I miss from before, but the idiot box isn't one of them. Hey, little buddy. Why so quiet? No one to play with? I think I'll find medical supplies in there. So, what have we got here? Killers, bingo. These will come in handy for sure. Surprise, out of order.
This thing's been lying here for a long time. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore? All the batteries have been placed. Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. Park? Where are you? What the? The alarm. Disable it using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick! Just wait. Hurry, Park! Again. Okay, this sucks. You all right, Em? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need a sec. You sure the alarm will stay off? I guess. Anyway, it's off now. Just shout if you need me. Stupid fridge. I should try again. Suddenly I've got chills running down my spine. Yes! It worked! I just hope Alex knows how to say thank you. No good. Out of reach. No good. Out of reach.
Now, let's see what we've got. A gravity jack. Just what we need to move that shelf out of the way. Hey, I found a gravity jack in the garage. Bet we could use it to move that shelf. That could work. Slide it underneath, and I'll grab it from the other side. All right. Here, let's go. Shit, my backpack. Hold on, I'll be right back. Park, no. Forget about it. My inhalers. Park? Park? Emily! Human, stop where you are. For your safety, remain calm, and do not resist. Where the hell did you disappear to? Oh, you're back. So, how did it go? Things got hairy. I'll explain later, but it worked out. We got the meds. Anne's just trying to play it cool. You should have seen her blast that cop with a flare gun. She... what now? Enough, Alex. Just stop. We checked and no one came after us, okay? Goddamn stupid kids. You better learn to take things more seriously. Oh, don't mind him. The important thing is that you're safe and sound. Now then, I just made pancakes. Any takers? Thanks, but I gotta get some sleep. I can barely stand on two legs, much less hold a fork. All right, so I'll heat up a breakfast for you when you wake up. But please, will you first get some fever medicine to Olga? It appears Vera is getting worse. And you, Park? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Where's Matt? Off getting supplies. We're running low on food. He should be back soon. Emily, I think the old man needs your help. Can you check in with him? Here, Olga. We managed to find the meds. Oh, thank you, Emily. Little Vera's fever has made it so hard for her to sleep. I hope this does the trick. Pasmotrim. We'll see. Her cough is... it's very bad. When she wakes, I'll give her some of that medicine. But please, let her sleep for now. Well, we're all really hoping that... Uh, where'd this crib come from? Brian found it on one of the upper floors while you were away. I'm sad we'll need to leave it behind, eventually. It's not exactly portable. Okay, well, try and get some rest. I'm off to give Alex a hand. Okay, thank you. And to Park, too. I hope the medicine helps.
Park? What's up, Em? How you doing? You look pleased. I am. Claire's pancakes are amazing. Just like the ones they used to serve in the university cafeteria. So good. Almost enough to make you forget you're hiding from killer robots. Come to think of it, why aren't you eating? Maybe later. My appetite's still playing catch-up, I guess. Just leave some for me, okay? I'll try, but no promises. Hey, we should keep an eye out for a new tablet. Yours is like a hundred years old. Nah, I'm good. This tablet and I have been through a lot together. Plus, it reminds me of my dad. I used to mess around making music, working the counter at the store. Right. Sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. That's okay. The tablet might be old, but it does everything I need. The music editor is decent, and it's still great for movies and books. Holds a charge for a few weeks, too. What more could I ask for? Um, don't answer that. So, how was your morning? Let's put it this way. Telling the story is better than living it. That bad, huh? We've gotten out of worse. Like the freight car incident? Don't remind me. Who knew the driver would take off so soon? It took us forever to get back home. All right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Bon appétit. Yeah, thanks. Emily, shouldn't you be resting? I thought you wanted a nap. Yeah, but need any help? I mean, I can see you've already got your hands full here. Oh no, that's all right. You've done more than enough already. I can handle it. Go and get some rest. All right, I'm ready for some downtime. Get some rest, honey. Alex's toolbox. I'd better ask before messing around with it. Locked. I'm busy. What do you need? Alex, I found some painkillers at the drugstore. Maybe they could help you with your leg? Leg pain requires having a leg, Emily. It'd be idiotic to waste painkillers on a phantom limb. Oh. Right. Sorry, I didn't... Knock it off, Alex. The girl's just trying to help. Fine, give him here. I'm sure someone could make use of him. Maybe Matt, after I put my only remaining foot up his ass. Hey, go on, give me some peace and quiet. I got a lot of work to do. Have you seen Matt? What? Do I look like his chaperone? General Jackass hasn't returned yet. I told him there's a store we haven't checked just down the way, but he, of course decided to go clear across the city. Not to mention, he left you two little brats at the drugstore, alone. I'm giving him an earful when he gets back. Oh yeah, you'll see. Just wanted to check in. Is your leg giving you any trouble? Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, I'm just peachy. Now why don't you go fawn over someone who needs it? I told you, I'm busy. Claire said you needed me for something? Yeah, maybe you can help me. My damn stump's been aching ever since I woke up. It's driving me nuts. Sucking the strength right out of me. Here. Use this thing to open the drawer by the kitchen and bring me the decoder. Okay. What does it look like? Well, it's a... electronic... thingamajig. You'll figure it out. Go on now. Is this it, Alex? Uh-huh. Hang on a sec. Help me out. Come on, give me a hand. 
Yeah, well, naturally, connecting the encrypted memory cells on this old thing is going to take some trial and error. What? Ah, such a pain dealing with you dilettantes. Look, you got an eye for design, right? Just arrange the pixels so that the various colors aren't repeated, horizontally or vertically. You got me? I'll try. Wow, not bad. Okay, fine. You got this. I'm impressed. Okay, fine. Thank for a change. Wow, not bad. <sighs> this rate will be here all day. You got this. I'm impressed. All right, connection established. Just go relax. I'll handle the rest. Sounds good. Let us know what you find. Not just yet. This picture is one of the few things I have left. Emily. You were never good enough. I'm good at just how they are looking at you. They don't trust you. Remember the face of your mother? This can't be happening. Aren't we all dead already?
Emily, it's already noon. Wake up before you sleep the day away. Matthew's bringing lunch soon. Okay, um, wait. I really slept for that long? Park looks like he's lost in his music. I'll leave him to it and ask to have a listen later. I shouldn't bother her. Hey, Brian. How you feeling? Sleep well? Hello, little Emily. Don't worry. At my age, it's perfectly normal. I found some sleeping pills today. Could that help? Hmm. Not familiar with this brand. Of all the meds I've tried, none seem to help. Hopefully, these will actually do the trick. Thank you. I almost forgot. I've got a surprise for you. After you make some hot tea for the old man. A surprise? One cup of tea coming up. Your tea, sir. Splendid work, little Emily. Here's a tip. My watch! You fixed it! Thank you! Here you go. It took some tinkering, but I was able to disable the antenna and navigation modules, so no one can track you. Other than that, the watch is like new. Hey kids, come on over. It's lunchtime. Splendid. Now, let's talk about this morning. And then, our plans for the future. After what happened in the drugstore today, Alex and I decided that some extra protection against robots would be wise. I won't keep you in suspense. I drafted a blueprint for a very powerful taser. However, it's only useful at close range. Simply put, a single charge should be able to fry a robot circuitry to a crisp. It won't be of much use if you get swarmed. It doesn't have that kind of power, but it should be able to bring down a single bot and buy you some time to get away. That's great, but I'm guessing you can't just make one out of rags and cardboard. Which means you're sending me somewhere dangerous to scavenge for parts, right? Not so dumb after all, are you, Matt? <laughs> Brian will give you the list of parts. Take Emily or Park with you. You'll find everything you need in any decent electronics store. Hmm. Sounds like our best bet is Geek Spot. It's a couple of hours on foot. There's a big parking lot out front. All those abandoned aero cars will make it easy to hide. Well then, that seems like the obvious choice. Both of you should get packed and head out while it's still light out. Hold on. I just got back. Can't this wait? It'll be dark soon. Stop testing my nerves, boy. I'll get off your back as soon as you get going. Do what you're told and get the hell out of here. Enough. Enough, Matthew. We really need you to find those parts. I have a feeling that taser will come in quite handy. We'll talk more when you get back. Fine, fine. I just don't understand why this old jerk gets to order us around like he's the boss or something. You're such an asshole. When I get my leg fixed, you better start running. Stop it, Alex. You should be ashamed. How else am I supposed to talk to this punk so that he understands? Who does he think he is, huh? I think we'd better get going. Like, now. Okay, okay, yeah. I can really use some fresh air. Away from these freaking old farts. Park? I don't suppose you've got another round for the flare gun? It could be useful. None left, but I can give you this firecracker I found, if you want. Nice. I'll take what I can get, thanks. If nothing else, I can use it as a distraction. Mm -hmm.